Hello everyone, so this is kind of a companion piece to my last video. In the last video I stepped you through how to set up OpenCV with Python and facial recognition software, uh, libraries I should say, and um, in this tutorial I'm going to take you through, uh, so in the last tutorial I kind of showed you this document that it has the steps. This time though I'm actually going to um, run the commands just in, in if anyone needs a little more hand-holding that's what this video is about if you were able to be successful in the last video you don't need to watch this video um, but this is I'm going to actually put these commands into the command line and show you how that looks when you run it right. first thing you need to do is make sure you have brew and python 3 installed on your computer to check to see if this is already installed you can open up terminal so I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you know that Terminal can be found just using Spotlight or under your Applications folder on your Mac. Grab a new um, window in Terminal to kind of show you how to do this. And so as I uh, show right here, you can check to see by putting in Python. So you want to have at least Python 3. Uh, Python 3 and above is recommended. So you can tell that by typing in Python 3 dash dash version. And there we go, we got um, 3.8 on here. Uh, I might, so you can go through these steps and if you run into an issue, if you have like 3.8 or 3.7, it should work okay. I've done this actual installation a bunch of times and every once in a while I'll run into an a issue if I don't have the latest version of Python. Um, at this moment, it's 3.9, could change though by the time you're watching this. So you can use this link provided here, which will be in the description. Just click on that, go ahead. It's a simple download to download Python. The other option is you can use the brew command and do brew install Python, and that will install it uh, just the same way. Either option works. So I just want to note that the um, link to the Python download and or using that brew method to install Python is only necessary if you don't have a three point something version, um, or if you find that you don't have the current, like 3.9 is the current right now, and you go to run the libraries and you get an error, then you might wanna come back and install Python by one of those two methods, whatever one um, you find easiest. That's it. Uh, and actually, you're gonna to wanna to use Brew a couple different times. Uh, we use Brew and PIP3 to install uh, various libraries for this tutorial. So if you try to use Brew and it's not letting you, then you're gonna make sure you have to have um, either Xcode installed or the Xcode command line tools. Um, if you have Xcode, you should have the command line tools by default. Um, just another note, even if you have Xcode, it's not a bad idea to um, install the command line tool just to make sure you have it. Um, because uh, a lot of uh, good features come with that for installing various libraries for this tutorial and um, other things you may want to do. So I would go ahead and just go through that process. I'm going to show you what that looks like now. Let's go ahead and run it by um, putting in the, uh, the command line tools. I'm going to hit install and hit agree. And that says an hour, but it should be much quicker than that. Um, hopefully that'll go down, but I will fast forward to the end of this. Yeah, now we're down to four minutes. All right, so it's installed, so we'll hit done. And the next step, I copied this command here. I'm gonna paste it right in here and press enter, make sure you have those quotes in the end quote. And this is going to, um, it's going to ask you for your password. And so um, make sure you put that in. It's not going to show you that you're actually typing, but it's taking it. Um, and then it's going to say, press return to continue. Press that. Um, and it should uh, download Homebrew for you. All right, so Brew should be installed now. We can move on to the next step. One thing I'll, I'll note is that you may want to download um, PyCharm. Uh, PyCharm is one of my favorite um, IDEs for uh, which is like a, a um, 
environment for editing and running and compiling your Python code. Um, but and if you, I'm just cautioning you though. There's built in the PyCharm. There is a um, it has its own kind of virtual environment with a terminal window built in. Um, you might have to repeat these steps inside of PyCharm or other, if you use Anaconda, things like that, you might have to do this. I actually just like to go and use my terminal window here and just use PyCharm as an editor. I don't actually run it through PyCharm and I'll show you how to do that. Um, and so uh, anyway, I just note that because I know people have run into that issue. I will show you how to run a sample Python um, block of code at the end of this tutorial. So don't worry, we'll see that at the end. Anyway, so next step, and step kind of two after you have these um, initial ones going, um, it is to um, make sure we get OpenCV installed. And to do that, it's pretty straightforward. It's this command right here, where you're gonna um, type in, and you can just copy and paste it, whatever is easier but it's pip3 install opencv dash uh, contrib dash python. Um, this one shouldn't take too long. Uh, yeah, we'll let it run here and I'll probably just fast forward to the end if it takes a little bit, but it's typically not too bad of an install. Although uh, the next step you'll see is a longer one where you're gonna have it sit for like an hour. And that's when we actually install install dlib. So you get a warning here, that's okay. Um, you may or may not get a warning if your version is up to date, um, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And so anyway, we can actually test this out now. We could um, type in Python 3, and now we're actually in Python, which is actually like a terminal, in terminal editor. Uh, so I can actually like type code and run it here. Um, but we just want to test to see if import CV2 works, because CV2 is open CV, basically. If this gives us a, a knock, if we get to the next prompt without an error, we should be good to go. And it looks like it usually would have had an error by this point. Yeah, we're good. So it gave us this prompt. And that means we're good. You don't really even need to do this next part, but we can do CV2 dot underscore underscore version two more underscores and um, it just shows us that we have the latest version. Uh, so that's great. I'm gonna hit um, control D to get out of that. Um, and so now we're, we can head to the next step, which is to install Dlib. And then after that, we're gonna install the face recognition library. And so to install Dlib, you need to uh, install a couple um, supporting libraries. So we're gonna do install, Pip3 install pillow. Um, this is, yeah, that's pretty quick install. That works well. Then we'll do pip3 install I am utils. Um, we will use this uh, in the code when we run the face recognition code. So that's a quick one to install cake. Oh. can even go to the next one which is you know I'll just stick with the, the pip3 that I've been using you can do either one that you can do in um, brew or pip3 for to get dlib this one's going to take a little while um, so sit back and uh, it may even take up to an hour to install this. Dlib is now installed. Um, so we're ready for the last thing, which is this one here to install um, the face recognition library. So copy that, I'm gonna come in here, paste that in, hit enter. Uh, this should only, this shouldn't be as long as Dlib. Dlib is the only one that's really takes a while. That and the kind of the command line tools um, are the two probably biggest downloads that you have to do during this process. 
Um, yeah, there we go. So that, that wasn't too bad. And then, so we're ready now. We should have all everything installed to go ahead and run um, the sample code that will um, demonstrate how the face recognition um, works with uh, Python. So this is kind of under the face recognition library on GitHub. It's a sample code they provide. So if you go ahead here and um, go ahead and just copy this uh, whole thing, we'll do a uh, select all copy. There's a lot of comments in here, but I'll kind of step you through what you need to do. Let's go back to this um, a tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, um, PyCharm is a good um, IDE for um, compiling and running your Python code. I'm just going to use the one that's built in. Uh, when you download Python, you get it by default. It's called idle. Uh, so I'm going to bring that up. And uh, this is very simple. Uh, first time you use it, go ahead and say OK. And let's go ahead and I'm going to go up here and um, click on File, New File. And now I have a new file here. And I'm just going to paste in everything that I had uh, copied from GitHub. And I'm going to hit Command S to save. Give me a pop up here. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this in a subfolder. Maybe I'll go on my desktop and just create a folder. Um, create a folder on there called Face. And that's where I'll save this, and I'll just call this face rec. Um, hit save. And so let's let's take a look at um, that. So I'm just dragging it over, um, so we can see if I open up the face folder on my desktop. That's what I have by default. It gives it the .py for Python. Um, so that's great. And so one of the things that before we can run this, uh, you'll notice in the code that there are references to these um, two uh, uh, images, one for Biden, one for Obama. Um, I'm going to, uh, just because I happen to have, randomly have a picture of um, Drake and Brad Pitt, I'm going to use them. And I'm going to drag them into that folder. Um, hopefully the PNG will work for me, but um, we'll, we'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, I can convert it to a JPEG. Uh, but let's see. So uh, we'll call this Obama.png. And so I'll change this to match that name exactly. And we'll call this one Biden. Okay, so Brad Pitt's Biden, Drake is Obama, and then um, I will update it so it says their names, Drake, and we'll put Brad Pitt. All right, I'll save this. Um, and so, all right, so we have to navigate to this folder, and so I'll uh, CD to desktop and then CD to face. Do an LS. Um, yes, hit OK. Um, and that shows all the files that are there. That looks good. And so let's go Python 3. And we're going to do Python 3. And we're going to take a look. We're going to run the. Um, I'm just setting up my phone. So I'm ready here because I'm going to show these faces on my phone and it should recognize them. So let's give it a try. So Python, and we'll do face underscore rec.py. Uh, mine asked for permission to use my camera. Yep, there it is. Um, there we go, we're showing. Doesn't recognize me, uh, but if I hold up a picture of Drake, we got him. So that's great. So it recognizes him. Let's try Brad Pitt. And it got him too. Perfect. All right. So there's your demonstration. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I showed the, the same images. And it's control C to kind of exit out of there. I showed the same images as the ones that I had in the folder. But 
Um, having done this a little bit, I'm, uh, I am impressed that you're able to um, use different images and it will recognize, for the most part, um, just trained off of this one image. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. And I think this is really cool to be able to do this with uh, limited effort to get this face recognition to work. Anyway, um, next tutorial, I'm gonna kind of step through the code and we'll look at some things you can do to push this to the next level. Uh, so let me know if you run into any problems or have any other questions. Thanks.